Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another tutorial, another Freedom Friday tutorial. And so I'm doing this particular one because I've gotten several requests on how to add a pop-up from Flowdesk onto your website. Now, um, you can use any other website um, platform. However, I'm only gonna be talking about Wix because that's uh, what I use for my clients. And so today's tutorial is going to be about how to add a pop-up onto your Wix site. So as you can see, I've selected a site here on Wix. Um, and so I want to where people come to the website that a pop-up subscription box um, comes up. And so um, I'm going to go into Flowdesk to go ahead and begin the design of that. If you're interested in using Flowdesk, I do have a link in the description where you can sign up and get my 50% discount on that. So here we go. I'm just gonna go and so as you can see, I'm logged into my personal Flowdesk account. Um, and there's another tutorial kind of going over what Flowdesk is. I'm sorry, a live that I have just going um, over what Flowdesk is. So if you aren't following me out on Instagram at the Rhonda Evans, go ahead and do that. Um, so you can take a look at my IGTV um, uh, story so you can see exactly what Flowdesk is um, and you can fall in love with it too. So we're going to go over to forms to create it but one thing that you always have to remember to do first if you do not have a segment um, already outlined for it you want to create that segment in audience first so you're going to select set audience and then segment when you go over to segment you want to click on add segment and i'm just going to title this website pop-up Okay, and you can name it whatever it is you want to. So that way when people actually submit their information in the pop-up, it's going to go into that segment. Now if you already have a segment, like for example, website subscriptions or something like that, you can absolutely use that, um, that same segment. You don't have to create a new one, but if you are starting from scratch and you have zero segments in here, then you want to create one first. So now that we're over into forms, you'll see over here where you can do a pop-up, an inline or a full page. So we're just going to click on create new and all of the different templates are going to be listed. But because we know we want to do a pop-up, we're going to click on pop-up. Once that comes up, oh, maybe I didn't click it. <laughs> so you want to click on pop up with image and this is what comes up or you can do a pop up without image. So for today's example, I'm just going to simply do a pop up without image um, and I'm just going to circle it back for just a quick second. If you take a look at what's in my forms, you can see that this particular pop-up that I created for my website has an image in it. So you can kind of see the difference. So when people go to my website, um, they can go right here and there's an image and then the, there's the information. So I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what that would look like. So now let's go back to the tutorial. So we're gonna create a new pop-up and we're going to do the one without an image okay so as you can see now it's asking you to select which segment you want the pop-up to be a part of so that's why it was so important to do that beginning part first um, we're creating the segment so now that we have done that we can go to website pop-up and select that and let's just say you want this particular group of individuals to be a part of even more segments you can always drop down and add more so now you see the segment um i'm sorry now you see the pop-up <laughs> and this is where you're going to edit it so 
We're not gonna do anything with editing today because really this is a tutorial about how to get this pop-up on your website. Um, we can do another tutorial at a later date about how to edit in Flowdesk. Um, so yeah. So let's just say this says all of the things that we wanted to say. We're going to hit next. And it's gonna ask you a couple questions first. The first question, should we enable double opt-in for this form? We're gonna select no, but if you want, you can select yes. Now it's gonna ask, when should we display this form? And that's so important because you would think this would take place on the website, which there is a section on the website for this, but for this tutorial, you wanna make sure that the pop-up and the website are speaking to each other. So we're gonna do immediately when visitor lands on the site. But you see that there are a couple of different um, selections, um, options that you can select there. So we're just gonna do immediately. And then, should we show this to return visitors who already subscribe? You can say yes, show it every single time, or you can say no, hide it from return visitors. I'm just gonna put um, every time because just because they visited the first time does not necessarily mean they entered their information for the pop-up. So <laughs> I'm gonna put show it every time. And then the most important part, should we notify you when a new subscriber opts in? Of course. And now here's where you can either say display the thank you message or you can redirect the subscriber to a URL. So what I typically do is just redirect them back to the website. Hit continue. Now this is the space where it kind of gets tricky. It just depends on what Flowdesk wants to do or what Wix wants to do. <laughs> so initially, I'm just going to take the code from here where it says header code and I'm going to hit copy. Now, if we go in here and this code doesn't want to participate fully, <laughs> I'm going to show you the other code that you can take and add to the website. But for now, we're going to start here with the header code and hit copy. And so we're gonna go back over to our website editor. And once we get here, you see all of the different buttons and we can do that again in another tutorial to kind of walk through all the things Wix does. Um, but for right now, we're gonna hit add. And on add, we're going to go down to Once we hit add, you see all of these selections and we're going to go to interactive because we want this pop-up to be interactive. And on um, Wix, it's not called a pop-up, it's called a light box. So you can see over here, it says light boxes. And you can choose to do a couple different kinds. They have several different templates. So if you wanna do one of welcoming people to the site, you can choose that. You can choose subscribe. You can do promotion and you can do contact. Now, simply because I really like, um, where is it? I really like this funky little background right here. Um, I'm gonna choose this one. So we're just gonna click on it and drag it on over here. And as soon as it pops up, and here we go, it has popped up for us, woo, yay. Okay, so you see with um, Wix, it kinda has everything in here for the pop-up for you already, right? Mm, well, we're not gonna use any of that. So you're gonna click on that and delete it. Click on that, delete. Click on that, delete. Now, I don't know that I even really want this yellow part here, so I'm gonna hit Delete. So now all I have is this cute, funky looking background right here. Now here's the fun part. Here's where you're going to embed the code so that your flow desk pop-up shows right here. So again, we're gonna head on over here to that add button. And then we're gonna find the best option that gets us to embed. And what do we have here? Embed. <laughs> So you're gonna click on embed and hit HTML iframe. 
So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it right there in the middle of that particular pattern. So you see a black, a gray box, right? Nothing's there. So you're gonna select enter code and we're gonna either do the code or the website address. For this example, we need to do the code. So we're gonna paste what we copied over from Flowdesk and hit apply. And it worked the first time. Thank you, website guys. <laughs> okay. So now you see you have to resize it a little bit, which is fine, which is fine. It's cool. We're just gonna stretch out some of these little dialogue boxes and things like that. Stretch it on out. So we don't have that scroll on the side. So the scroll is gone. We have it perfectly in the middle. And that's it, you guys. All we had to do was just remove all of the stuff that was there before, add our code in there, and now we have the pop-up. So let's go ahead and preview it. So here's the page, and immediately when we go to the page, it shows the pop-up. I hope that this was helpful for you. Definitely follow me, um, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel. If there's a particular um, tutorial that you want to learn more about, just hit me in the DMs on Instagram, or you can comment below and send me a message and let me know what you would like to see. And if I know how to do it, then I will do it. So see you guys on the next Freedom Friday tutorial. Bye.